This is Brady. Lucky old bastard that he is. As you can see, he's a bit of a devil with the ladies. And sometimes, like this moment here, in fact, I really, really hate the bastard. Morning, baby. Did you sleep okay? Fine, thanks. You were fantastic last night. Oh, thank you. I'm Brady, by the way. This is Fred. She shares a house with Brady. Fred's a very cool girl. No messing. She doesn't eat salads, she drinks pints, she swears. A lot. Sort of a good looking bloke. <laughs> Silly fun. Yeah, even the C word. Oh, you'd like a bigger in your hand. Well, even I've got a bigger dish than you. See you later. She's always had a bit of a thing for the sea, so she's off around the world pretty soon, leaving town. I'll miss her. A bit like losing a little brother. Now, this is Angus. Ugh. You've probably guessed, he's a student. Excuse me. All that's missing is the traffic cone. Oh. He also shares a house with Brady. Ah. And we became mates. Ah. God, please stop the pain. Stop it, and I swear I'll never drink again. <laughs> you, sir. Yeah. Sorry, you're in your eye. Oh. <clears throat> he truly is a poor excuse for a human being. <clears throat> but he's a bloody good laugh. and sacred ball of vision show me show me the future i know what you're thinking ariel really believes all that bollocks let i see what shall be she and fred are best friends she likes to think that she's a psychic well show me something she ain't show me bloody anything you cheap fake piece of crap <sighs> oh, wait. When will I have some power? You will when you're mental. You've got to stick with it. But can you be any more specific? Feel the energy. And believe. Thanks, Ori. Now... Yes, Ariel? Can you turn around? I need to get changed. I need that. That sad, lonely, bad breathed motherfucker is me. Hi. Hey, don't feel sorry for me. Not just yet. There is so much more to come. I've been paid to write a horror novel, but I literally lost the plot. I need to think of a genius ending that'll make Clive Barker literally shit his pants, but I can't stop thinking about my ex. Yeah, that's her, Jennifer. Oh, I was totally in love with her. I really should change the desktop picture. Morning, love. You fancy a cuppa? No, thanks. How's the book going? It's not. I I've been kind of distracted. Oh. You'll find someone else. Oh, please else. don't say that. I'll find someone else. It wasn't meant to be. There's plenty more fish in the sea. I'll find someone better. I know you think your life is over, but you're wrong. 
When your father died, I was just the same. Well, that's a bit different, Mum. Well, I suppose, but I thought I'd never meet anyone else. Never have sex ever again. Your father was my first. I never knew anything different. But after he died, I tried all sorts. Mum. Big ones. Small ones. Crooked ones. Oral, anal. Jesus, Mum! Oh, come on, we're both adults. Never speak to me about that stuff again, please. I've got to get on with some work. All I'm saying is go out there, have some fun. And always give oral. Maybe that's why Jennifer left you. Shut up! Witzen der Breve, du bauf na moja život. Od tebi se smem, od svi se zamem, za prilike. Witzen der Breve, du bauf na moja život. Od tebi se smem, od stani se smem, za prilike. So what do you think, Smell Edition for X Factor? I've been thinking about us, you know, being a new couple and stuff. Mm, I wouldn't really call us a couple. I just think as it's Valentine's Day, we should go to see your parents, you know, to introduce me. It's Valentine's Day? Today? I have to think, every year, our anniversary will be on Valentine's Day! I have to go. Now? <laughs> oh, right now. Are you sure? fuck am I thinking? I knew it. What? You little devil. Finally going to dress up about your lust. Bad idea. Have a little fling before shipping off like some horny soldier. What's wrong with that? What if I want more than a fling? Have you tried it on before? No, that'd be weird. We grew up together. He's like my brother, kind of. Trust in the stars. I did. That's how I found my soulmate. Who lives thousands of miles away? Thousands of miles means nothing when you have love. Skype. <laughs> Late again. Lateness is the perception that time is linear and the space-time continuum cannot be deconstructed.
What is that fishy smell? Have you converted her? Leaders of people! Where's Brady? Take a guess. Fucking dick. Penis. That's all men are. Just walking fucking peni. Just a penis with two balls for legs. Too nice. I don't need to hear any more of your advice. You know, it's Valentine's Day. I was wondering, why don't you give Jennifer a call? Hmm? Take her out to dinner or something. It's over, Mum. She dumped me. Maybe it's not you. I was at a party the other night, and there was this woman there. You know, I've never had any interest in women before, but I really felt quite... Get out. Oh, don't be such a prude. Must get it from your father. Oh, decided to come home, did we? Oh, make us a coffee. Make it yourself, you walking penis. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. I'll uh, see you later, Ariel. Just gonna get some fresh air. Something smells rotten in here. <laughs> what is wrong with you two? It couldn't have anything to do with your brains being located in your scrotum. Fred's not in a good mood. My God, you really are a phenomenon. Did she get any cards? Not the one she wanted. Your post is on the table, Casanova. Good morning, Smith and Styles. Jeremy speaking. How can I help you? Jerry, it's Brady. It is Jeremy. Jeremy. I hope you're not calling in sick again. Is the bus man there? No, he's in a meeting. Put him in a meeting about sacking your ass. What was it this time? Comedia? Tell him I have a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what, you've got anal aids in your ass. That's what you've got. Nice talking to you, Jerry.
Angus. Loving. Music, take it off. Hang on, I can't hear what you're just saying. I'll turn off the music. Morning, Angus. No, I still can't hear you. Well, I'm, just, I'm messing around. Yeah. Uh, tell me, what are your thoughts on today's subject? Ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's about... Yeah, it's brilliant. Superb, like, absolute best. Like, it's really up there, you know, pushing the roof. Yeah. And yeah. what is today's subject? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't worry, I've got faith in you, because... Uh, so good. Yeah, well, perhaps if you'd have graced us with your presence yesterday, you might know it. Yeah, I had, I had to take my nan to the hospital. Yeah, she wasn't well, like, not well at all. I don't, I don't know if she's going to make it home for Christmas. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. the on the tree, like, we, we always do that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, today we're studying paranoia in social situations. Why do you always say that to me? Good one. Yeah, thanks. Look, can I go and get a coffee? Because I need to get one and have a dump before cross. Okay, well, remember the essay soon by... Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I man. Yeah. 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 To skip you having to see and read the letter, or, you know, us getting Surrey and McKellen to read the whole fucking thing out to you, I'll give you the gist. It's from the publisher telling me that my book is very, very late. And unless I give them the completed manuscript very, very soon, then they want the advance they paid me back. Which, seeing as I've spent it, in a nutshell, means I'm very, very fucked. To Luke. Happy Valentine's Day. Love Mum. No. I'm Betty and I've got big boobs. You here to see me? Afraid not, Mrs. Sharp. Oh, I was hoping you were here to give me my Valentine present. Mrs. Sharp, are you trying to seduce me? Always. Well, don't just stand there. Come in. Is Luke around? He's in the kitchen. Don't I get a kiss for Valentine's Day? Mm. 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 
So you made it then? Just about. I'm off out, love. I'll see you later. Here. No, Mum. Go on, take it. Go down the arcade or something. Well, I'm not 12. But woo! Thanks, Mum. Happy Valentine's. Thanks, Mrs. Sharp. Ms. Ms. Sharp. I think your mum fancies me. You want some muesli? Muesli? I didn't come all this way for hamster food. Grab your coat. Where are we going? Follow me. What would you like, boys? Full English. Two. Oi, Martin, two heart attacks. The English breakfast. Ooh, beautiful, isn't it? This feast will usually consist of sausage, bacon, eggs, beans, fried bread, fried tomatoes. That's for the healthy aspect. All right, it's not the healthiest way to start the day, but you're not going to live forever. Mm. Great British cuisine. I wonder how far you have to jog to work that off. What's the point of eating it if you're just going to exercise after? I'll bake it down the library. Oi! What? I'm punking off. You can't just go swanning off to the library to do some work. I've got to finish my book. But do it tomorrow. No, no, there are people relying on me to finish this novel. Well, all I'm saying is you don't have to do it right now. What are we going to do instead? It's pretty awesome to think that we're only 30 miles away from millions of French people. You can almost smell the cheese. You're still blocked. No. Had a good one this morning. The book? I stare at the screen, but I can't seem to press the keys in the right order. The rest of the book's fine. It's actually pretty good. But since Jen dumped me, I've just dried up. Like a nun's hooch on Monday. I should just give up. Get a real job. <sighs> Bollocks. Look at me. I'm almost middle-aged. You're 27. I live with my mum. I'm unemployed, no girlfriend, no money. I need money. My own money. You make it sound like you have the worst life in the world. Look at me. I work. I'm a fucking insurance salesman. I sit behind a desk all day and chat to people who don't want to speak to me, then talk them into buying insurance they don't need and really can't afford. What kind of a fucking job is that? One that pays the rent. What's the point in working 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and accomplishing nothing? You're writing a book. You're doing something for yourself. At the end of the day, everything I do is for somebody else's benefit. So why not do what you really want to do? What, join? Oh, that's just a dream. Stop calling it a dream. Call it an ambition. If I can get paid to write, you can get paid to draw. Draw what? You could illustrate my book. <laughs> you can't finish that book, remember? Did Brady say anything? Not really. Don't you think you're cutting it close? I wish I was like you. You know what you want? Are you shitting me? I'm a mess. I don't know what to believe. I thought you believed in everything. Yeah, well... I'm having a kind of a crisis of faith. All this stuff seemed right. I thought it had all the answers, but I'm not so sure. And Yogi? Well, he's in friggin' India, isn't he? There's only so much masturbation I can handle, tantric or not. <laughs> thought I was confused. You are confused. <laughs> so you're gonna become a Hindu or something? No. I don't know. That's the point. What does uh, Yogi say about all this? <laughs> <laughs> Something fucking spiritual. Do you love him? Yogi doesn't believe in love. Not as the Western mind understands it. What do you believe in? <laughs> I believe sometimes you just have to reevaluate and say, fuck it. 
So you think I should say fuck it and just go for it with Brady? Well, that's not for me to say, is it? But if you don't, I can always teach you some tantric masturbation. <laughs> Do you ever think, what if I jump? I do. I wonder, what if Luke jumped? Seriously, what difference would it make? Well, Angus would then be my best mate, which would be shit. What about Jennifer? What if you pushed her off? Would she care? Would she give a shit? Of course she would. She loved you. Ah, see? Loved. Past tense. Would she cry? Would she? Do you want her to cry? Fuck yeah, I want her to cry. I want her to be sad. I want her heart broken. I want her to sleep on my coffin, to weep on my grave. It's getting a little bit weird now, mate. Ah, oh, you wouldn't understand. Why? Well, you're hardly, forgive me, deep when it comes to relationships. I've had tons of relationships. I don't count tromboning as a relationship. I've had girlfriends. Yeah, but you hardly loved any of them. How would you know? Well, when you're in love, you're fulfilled. That person becomes a part of you. They become... The reason that you breathe, they make you feel like you're the person you always wanted to be. And you just became the gayest man in England. Have you ever said, I love you? Well, I thought it might scare you off, but I love you. I don't need any more <laughs> weird stuff today. <laughs> what? What's that? Is that from Jen? Take a look. <laughs> wow! Love, Mom. <laughs> wow, that that is fucked up. I could scar someone for life. <laughs> Your mom is pretty hot. Seriously? <laughs> you are way too serious today, man. I'm trying to take the day off, and you're acting like Julia fucking Roberts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so how was last night? Well, this feels wrong. What? We're sitting on a cliff top. This isn't the right place for this kind of conversation. There's only one place for this kind of chat. The pub. That great bastion of British tradition. A place to meet, socialize, discuss politics and current affairs. Or to tell jokes, get pissed, rant about football, and to argue for three hours about who's the best James Bond. Well, I think the answer to that is pretty fucking clear. It's a symbol of all that is great in this fair Britain. God bless the pub. Bit early for you today, isn't it? Not today, it's not. The usual. Yeah. Thanks. That was quick. Read your mind. What's the matter with you then? Oh, you got a Valentine's Day card from his mum. Oi! I've got writer's block. Writer, eh? Yeah. What sort of writing? Novels. What, you're the next Jeffrey Archer, are ya? God, I hope not. No, mine's about a man haunted by demons from a parallel dimension. No, I don't like all of that stuff. I prefer a bit of erotic fiction myself. So are you two coming to the party tonight? Well, I'll see how depressed I am. You want to move on, mate? She obviously has. It's a bit sensitive, that one, isn't it? Ah, uh, you know, love and all that. I prefer a bit of dogging myself. Oh. Looking at nothing. Two hour lives. We're going nowhere fast. So now we're in our comfortable seats. Tell me about last night. Mm. A gentleman never tells, but me not being one would, except I really don't remember. What? No memory of mind blowing sex? I don't even remember pulling her. Ah, that's because you didn't. 
She came after me. Like a velociraptor. All I know is I woke up this morning in a strange bed with a girl. A sex-crazy nympho girl. A sex-crazy nympho girl riding me like a palomino. You got laid in your sleep. I know. Cheeky bitch. I can think of worse ways to be woken up. Mm. I can see how you might think that. What? Sexy girl? She was pretty sexy. Great um, body? Well, some people might think it was a good body. Yeah. Then what can you be possibly upset about? Well, she was pretty crazy. You put up with a bit of crazy for some sex. Oh, it's not all about sex. <laughs> you are kidding. This is you. It's all about the sex. <sighs> I just didn't want to be with her. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't want to be, for one night, with a sex-crazy blonde nympho? No. I'm sick of it. All the girls, all the one-night stands... All the brilliant sex. It's meaningless. I don't love any of those girls. I don't want to spend the rest of my life waking up in strange beds with girls I hardly know whose names I can't remember. I am not getting your point. I've fallen in love with someone. <laughs> I'm fucking serious. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've fallen in love. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> totally. Oh, Jesus, you're serious. With who? It's not Jennifer. Fuck, no, oh, what's no. What's wrong with Jennifer? Oh, it's Fred. <laughs> no, come on, seriously, who is it really? It's Fred. You're in love with Fred? Why is that so hard to believe? Well, you've known each other since you were kids. That's a bit... inbred. Fuck off. Well, she's leaving soon. What are you going to do about that? I don't know. I wanted to tell her this morning, but then I go and end up sleeping with another woman. God, that's such an easy mistake to make, isn't it? I've done that twice myself this morning. Uh, with your mum? <sighs> Why in a million years would she feel the same way about me? She's kind, sweet, funny, charming. Handsome. Very bloody handsome. But he can go for hours, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love him. And you have to tell him. What I'd really like to know is, who invented this Monday to Friday thing, you know? Who was the bloke who first decided we need to spend five days doing things we don't want to do to earn money, so we can spend two days doing what we really want to be doing the other five days, present company excluded, of course. It's just one of those things, isn't it? I mean, who makes these rules up? Who decided what food is all right to eat for breakfast? Why can we have eggs, sausages and cereal and not burger, pizza and a curry? It's bollocks, you know? Why do you never see a chicken omelette? Yeah. We're just brought up with it, aren't we? It's passed down through the generations, like penis size or webbed feet or web penises. You know, you, uh, you really need to get back out there. Ah, uh, can we not talk about my life of loneliness, abstinence and despair? What else are we going to talk about? I'm not going to spend all afternoon listening to you talk about your ex. You need to look to the future, not the past. You're so good at the beginning. It always is. That's one of those girl games. They listen to you, tell you how nice you are, that their last boyfriend was a bastard. I got that one. And then they sense they've got you believing they like you for who you really are, and then bam, suddenly they want to change you to who they really like. You know, they start choosing your clothes, they buy you the clone they like. So they never really liked you. They were just trying to see how easy it would be to mold you. Jennifer did keep suggesting I get a real job. And you fought her will. And what happened? She couldn't mold you into who she really wanted. I mean, haven't you ever noticed the strange way all girls seem to have the same DVDs in their collection? You'll always find Pretty Woman, Dirty Dancing, Ghost. And there's always a fucking fitness DVD you've never seen her use. Yes, that's spooky, Matt. Maybe they're not really DVDs inside. Maybe they're like instructional tapes on how to control us. It would be the safest place. They know we're not going to ask to borrow any of them to watch with the lads. Kind of like how we hide our porn. <laughs> I kept mine in a driller killer case. Yeah, zombie flesh eaters. <laughs> Hello, lover. Huh. Talk of the bloody devil. You came to see my Valentine's sweetheart. <laughs> well, if I see him, I'll warn him. <laughs> so, can you plan for us tonight? Uh, 
trip to the psychiatrist. <laughs> I thought I'd make a romantic dinner for two tonight. Oh, I hope you're hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna make something very special. Susie, it's over. Love you. That is one fucked up fatal attraction, basic instinct, hand that rocks the fucking cradle loony! I told you. Great body, though. Very new by now. Right. Another one? No, I can't. I've got to finish this book. Hello? Hello, Luke. Hello, pretty young girl. Hello, piece of paper with her phone number written on. What's going wrong? Nothing. I am bang on track. Loser. This is just an optical illusion. See, I told you, man. Was it that difficult? No, it was remarkably easy, actually, mm -hmm. especially when she asked if I could give you her number. What? She asked me to give you her number, so you managed to pull her through proxy. Well, I don't want it. Oh, that's right, you're in love. <laughs> so tear it up. No problem. Go on then, tear it up. I will. Go on then. Ah, you see, I knew you couldn't do it. <laughs> Done. Well, I'm impressed. I feel good. I feel alive. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. Smash the camera. What's that face for? I can swear to God you just said, I feel like the king of the world. I'm sick. I don't know what I'm saying. What are you looking at? You know, I'm not a complete idiot. No, not completely. Almost. Well, we see who's laughing when I send this picture to the boss man. Oh, you really are a snivelling, brown nosed little shit. You must be Luke. Yeah, yeah. You must be Jerry. Jerry. No, it's Jeremy. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Your leaving party. What are you gonna do? Get a drink. No, I can't. Luke, don't give me that shit about going to the library. This is an emergency. Then let's go get wasted. Who are you calling? Reinforcements. Angus! Hey, hey, yo, yo, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> right, I'm off. Late as our people. Angus, it's not a social media network where you can log off and on at will, you know. There are scheduled hours here. Like prison? Or work? Personally, I come here to get away from work. And prison. The students were meant to rebel. I'm gonna have time off for the hangovers and the cool downs. We need time and space. We need to chill. Just get the fuck out. I know you your name. Only Brown. Oh, that's ringing. That's unhygienic. Are you going to answer that? My bills are fine. I haven't had an accident in the last six months. I don't want to change my energy supplier. I don't want to upgrade my mobile phone. And I don't want to attend your seminar. Not even for a free toaster. Have I missed anything? It's Luke. Says he and Brady are going to spend the afternoon on a pub call and are kindly asking if we'd like to join in. Fuck it. Why not? I could do with a few pints. I think we'll meet you later. What the hell are you looking at? I'm going through Angus's history. I believe this site's called Gilfs Are Us. 
I know they say to respect your elders, but that is going too far. Since when did a 10 inch dildo spell respect? Sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. that. that is a mate, no fuss, no waiting. Hope we didn't drag you away from anything important, buddy. Nah, my balls fell out at gym and I think I did something wrong to a piece of cod. Pretty average day. Uh, possibly the shittiest day ever. I'll drink to that. Let's pick these up and get out, boys, shall we? Mine's a bit gassy. <gasps> it's making me cry a little bit. Come on! I'm <laughs> 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 not even finishing that. I'm not leaving mine. I'm having a bit of a bit of moment. Oh. <laughs> 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 you fucking pussy! <laughs> Right. How many girls have you slept with? Oh, uh, I knew you'd ask this question. Not as many as you, you slut. And I want to hear names. All right, you first. No, I asked you. Come on. So? Yeah, so? All right. I'll try to remember. Um, okay. <clears throat> Annie. <coughs> April. <laughs> Amber. <coughs> Brittany. <coughs> Cat. Claire. Diane. Oh, well done. Edith. Fuck me! All right. I was only on the E's. Yeah, but we get the point. <laughs> All right then, come on, how many? Huh. Yeah, this is really good, babe. <laughs> Love it. Nah, this is stupid. You have to answer. Well, what about you? I only do the DKPs. Like who? Uh, there was Denise. Are you sure that's fully went? There was Keely. Hurry up, babes. I've got to get back to school. Paulina. <laughs> I'm not sure she even counts. All right, one. I slept with one girl. Who is it? What do you mean it was it? Bloody Jennifer, of course. You slept with who? One including Jennifer. Yeah. That's fucking tragic. What? What do you mean? We were together for five years. So that means you were a virgin until. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Just get the fucking drinks. It's your round, Angus. Fuck <laughs> off! I got these. I got these. I got the ones before. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Same again. You were a virgin until you were twenty-two. Just please get the fucking drinks. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Forget about it, man. In some ways, I'm jealous. In what ways? <sighs> okay, in no ways. But you know what? So what? So it's not a top score. I've, I've lost interest and had to fake orgasm to get away early. <laughs> what are you talking about? Men can't fake an orgasm. Yeah, of course we can. How do you fake an orgasm? You know, you just act. Bullshit. So what he's having. Oh, 
tense your muscles like that. It's not big. It's not clever. Go on, then. Here we go. What the road again? Yes. Chariot. Yeah. Now this is the tough part of the old day. This is where you start lagging. You feel a bit tired. You consider going home and crashing in front of the TV for the rest of the night, but you can't. You've spent too much time, effort, and money into getting this wrecked. It's a shame to waste it. Oh, come on, I've got a pee. Nice. I think I need to go to work. What? I'm joking, you know? I'll catch you up. I've really got to pee. Well, should I wait here, should I? shouldn't have had that last pint. What's wrong with you? There was a, a tall killer like the one from my book chasing me while I was pissing. Cool. I just nicked shit. You want some? A little late for work. Better late than never. And he's drunk, sir. <laughs> that makes us all very easy. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, I've got something to say. No, I think oh, shut the fuck up. No one cares what you think. I have in my hand my resignation. I won't be sacked from the job I detest. I've been sat behind that fucking typewriter for way too long. And I'm setting myself free. God knows what I'll do or where I'll go. But I know it'll be better than this... this job. He's got rid of him, sir. Oh, shut up, Jerry. And put a tie on! I was in a deep meditative state, touring worlds beyond our own. Sounded a lot like you were asleep. I made tea. Oh, I'm gasping. So, I've been thinking. Wait, let me guess. Brady, do you think I should try and be a bit more girly? What, like pigtails girly or breast implants girly? Well, neither, preferably. I was thinking maybe a dress. Let me tell you about men. They are not like us. 
We have five senses. Some of us have six, but most people just five. Hearing, smell, touch, sight, and my personal favorite, taste. Women use all five senses at once. They love to mix and match. Men can use just one at a time. Their first sense is sight. They are visual beings. Now, you want it to go deeper than just sight, but if you can, and I'll use an analogy you'll understand, if you can hook him with sight, then you can reel him in using smell, touch, and of course taste, and then once you've caught him, you can hit him with the hearing. So, is that a yes? Should I wear a dress, or...? In my opinion, why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, I felt so good, fan fucking tastic. You should have taken a dump. What? Yeah, yeah, you should have pulled down your pants, squatted, uh, had a shit in your hands, and thrown it in the faces and the walls. They agree. I'm not sure you needed to go that far, Angus. You can never go too far. Don't protest his ultimate fuck you. But they don't have shit on in their hand. Yep, that's a metaphor. That's for what? All these years they've been giving him shit. Now the tables are turned. No, you, you're, you're, you're a dirty bastard, Angus. <laughs> yeah, talking of which, I need to go see Willy Wonka. I think the Oompa Loompa's about to come in. Hey, don't throw your poop at anyone. Poop? Hello. Ready to come to Log Central? Oh. Um, it's not right. I can taste that. Oh. <coughs> I've seen worse. block. <sighs> this, is, this is a fish in a barrel of piss. You've been drinking all day. I suddenly feel stone cold sober. Like the dress? Yeah, you look different. Get many cards this morning? I didn't count them. Any good ones? I didn't open them. What did you do with them? I threw them in the bin. Why? I don't care about any of those girls. I don't want to spend my life with them. I don't love them. I want. <laughs> I, I want. What? <laughs> I want another drink. That's what I want. How was work today? Oh, I forgot you don't have a job. Well, why should I have a job? Half my wages will go towards you spending three years of university experiencing life. It's called an education. They teach you words like that at university. Oh, do they? Do they? I just thought they taught you words like slacker and cannabis. Oh, I almost forgot, Luke. I saw a job advert in the paper. Penthouse looking for full-time professional masturbators and I immediately thought, you're a wanker. Mm. Did I never use the pub toilets? Even the bins are doing this. <laughs> but I say we should go to get kebab now. Yes, yes, kebabs, kebabs, kebabs. I could refuel before we drink water. Listen nice. to you, bunch of little girls. I thought geezers like you could drink like fish. No, we are not geezers. We are gentlemen drinkers, and we are pacing over the ground. Yeah, well, we'll skip it and see you at the party. Come on. See you later. I promise. Did you see his face? Work like a dream. You think so? I'm starting to feel my mojo returning. Oh, my mojo is fucking freezing in this dress. Let's get going. Oh. 
You look different. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, that's this shitty line. What? Huh? Really knock Fred off her feet. Well, what would you know about knocking girls off their feet? Jennifer kicked you in the balls and you've been crying over it for the last six weeks. Well, let's just chill, dude. No, I want to hear Luke's brilliant advice on how to handle my love life. Love life? No, you got that the wrong way around. You have a sex life, but you don't have a love life. Oh, well, at least I have that. You don't have either. Well, I'm so flippin' sorry that I'm not on some quest to shag every girl I see. <laughs> well, maybe you should be. Maybe it would help you realize that the one you had is gone. She left you. Move on. Let's just chill and get some food. In a minute. I want to say, you're a selfish piece of shit you are who doesn't deserve a girl like Fred. Oh, and you do. Is that what you're saying? No, but I'm not the one who's in love with Fred. And let's face it, you probably only just want a knob because she's off around the world. Fuck you. It's true. It's true you don't want somebody leaving without having tried out this bloody ah, sex so machine. Cold. Yeah, well, maybe I should have shagged Jennifer, because you obviously weren't doing it right. Prick! Oh! oh what are you doing? You fucking oh, it. He did me. it! Who? Luke! There's a hair in mine. It's your mum. At some point during the all day, you have to have the kebab pit stop. It's absolutely essential to the evening portion. And while many people wait until the very end of the night, which is quite frankly ludicrous, you're barely going to remember what you've eaten. I have mine about half eight, nine o'clock, and I can relatively recall what was in it. Some kind of you know, generic meat. What the fuck is that? Oh, your cock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy. Another ritual of the drunk is to make phone calls to exactly the wrong person. For instance, and this is most instances, the ex. It's a bad idea. You know it's a bad idea, but you have no choice. Did you serve? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure, Mr. Yes, ben. yes, yes. <sighs> so, come on. Truth. How many boys have you slept with? Truth, remember. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> You're such a nun. Well, how many have you slept with? There was Michael. <laughs> Sean. <gasps> Mark. Bingo. Another Mark. <sighs> Patrice. <laughs> Billy and Emma. <laughs> that was a threesome. Another Mark. All right, all right, you old slapper. I've heard enough. And of course, Yogi. What are you going to do about him? I'm still waiting. For what? A sign. Some divine intervention. Maybe it's not about some higher power. Maybe it's about you deciding what's best for you. What happened to your eye? Who done it? He punched you. It was a drunken accident. It was meant to be for Brady. Why? What did you do? Nothing. They had a drunken argument. And now the little petulant bitches are sulking. I'm not sulking. It's him. You boys are so bloody childish. A couple of pints and you want to smack your best mate? Why don't you just apologise? No harm done. Except for my eye. You in the mood and all? No. Oh, obviously not. I'll get another round in. I'll help. I'll go. I'm already standing. Mine's a G&T, please. Sex on the beach, please. 
to a pine. Pine. Don't touch me. Right. It's what I try. I tell you what, that kebab sobered me right up. It's made your breast stinks what it's done. Yeah, well, Errol, that's the thing with kebabs. The taste lasts for hours. For even ten. Oh. That's... that's right. That's not cricket. So, why are you and Luke arguing? Oh, it's, it's nothing, never mind. Hey, listen, I, I wanted to talk about us. There's an us? How long have we known each other? A long, long time. So, I mean, don't you think it's time we got together? You mean you think we should have one night of rampant shagging so you can ignore me like you usually do the other girls? I really like you, Fred. Um, what can I get you to? Oh, um, uh, do you do sex on the beach? Well, not in a while. It's car parks mostly nowadays. Um, uh, two pints of lager, a gin tea, Guinness, and a cider, please. Coming up. So. So what? Well, I, I, I thought you might have something to say about you and me. How do I know you're serious? I'll become celibate. No <laughs> sex, nothing until you wow, believe me. Wow, very fucking romantic. You're not like other girls. I know. I know, I'm like one of the lads. Oh, that, that's not what I meant. Why? What's so special about me? What's special is I care about you. Shit. Huh? Look who's here. Huh? Oh, fucking shit. What is Jennifer doing here with that prick? Uh, Lee. What? A present for you, it's a little rose. Thank you. Yes. That's lovely. <laughs> Just ignore her. I can't believe you're waving. Bitch. <laughs> You're so funny. You're just like, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 I'm dribbling. Oh, no, no, no. Just got number two. Okay. Oh. There we go. Bastard. You spotted her then? He waved. You didn't. He did. She smiled at him and he waved back. You fucking cunt. Oh, Jesus, it was just a wave. What was I supposed to do? I just stuck two fingers up at her. No, I think it's all about the one finger. I prefer to keep it old school. I can't believe she's got the front to bring Jezza on a date into my pub. And on Valentine's Day? She must have known you were here. This tops off my day perfectly. I was pissed off when I woke up, now I'll go back to bed even more pissed off. Man, you people know nothing about the human condition. You called her and hung up, didn't you? Didn't you? Classic kebab rules. A person tries to contact their ex and bottles it. She's got your number up and she's thinking, Why on Valentine's Day is you calling me? She knows that you come here, ergo she comes to see you. Classic humanoid. So why bring a date? Total base instinct. Survival of the fittest. Or the female of the species teasing the male like fuck. One of the bollocks he is spouting. He doesn't have to fuck up her night. Thank you. She's right. We need to up the ante. How about a round of vodka shots? Um, are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> I'm fine, Fredino. All right. Let me just have a slash. Nice. So, are you two going to sit like sooty and sweet all night? I'm all right. What's that, Sue? Yes. Thanks, Matthew. No problem, Sue. <laughs> Thank you. 
We need to talk. This isn't the best time. It's important. We have a problem. I'm not happy. Well, I think... Please let me speak. I'm not happy with us. With our relationship. I thought we had something special, but... I don't know if I love you anymore. All right. Right. Well, if you're sure. I know you don't want to hear it, but we can't be together anymore. But it can be over before I give you something. It. Welcome, Brady. Where am I? You're dead. <laughs> Just kidding. You're here because I wanted a word with you. With me? Why? Look, I know how hot and sexy women can be. I created them for Christ's sake. But I think it's time to stop bed surfing. I've messed it up with Fred, haven't I? Do you love her? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Then don't give up so easy. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Hey, can I ask one question? As long as it's not about me and Mary. Nah, yeah, forget about it. I better get back to Earth and sort my life out. Okay. Expecto Petronum. Just kidding. <sighs> you okay, mate? Oh, I must have fainted. Yeah, you did. Just after the punch. Oh, punch. Fred saw you kissing Susie, so she lamped you. I wasn't kissing her. She kissed me. That's not how she saw it. Don't worry, mate. After you went down, Susie got right belter. <laughs> Are you all right? Where's Fred? She ran off. Uh, oh, I can't believe this. I've screwed it up again. You were right. I've been jumping from girl to girl and now it's come back to bite me in the box. More like punch you in the face. Look, I'm really sorry for what I said to you before. Uh, anyway, you were more right than I was. I've been in a bad mood since I was dumped. But maybe it's time you sorted it out. She's in here for a reason. What are you going to do? I'm going to do as God told me. What? <laughs> Nothing. And look. Thanks. No problem. to you. The really gay side. Uh, 
And number three for the lady. And there we go. Ah, leave the bottle, swear. I'll leave the bottle when you fucking paid for it, Dostoevsky. Alright, sorry. I think this is it. I think she's the one. It's been quite a day. It ain't over yet. I suppose I should just get on with it. Hey, you better not ask her to get back with you. Jen! Oh, hi Luke. How are things? Fine. You? Pretty good, really. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. No, no, it's cool. It's free country. I got a missed call from you and... I wanted to see you, Luke. I miss you and with Valentine's Day and everything. Why did you want to see me? I thought I wanted to see how you were. I was kind of hoping you'd be a complete mess. I've been thinking about us. Wait. You wanted to see me because you knew that I'd be here, and what? You thought that I'd be some kind of drunken bum, and what? That I'd beg you to take me back? I just wanted to tell you... I think I still love you. Ha! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Luke? Uh, nothing. Nothing. No, I'm fine. I am fine. For the first time since you dumped me, I can see that I'm fine. But don't get me wrong, I've been through hell. But here I am. Come out the other side, I've still got all my friends. And right now, things are looking up. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't love me anymore. I can't do that, Jen. But I can't say that I don't hate you either. You know, you never really get to know somebody until they dump you. And right now, right now, I can see you for who you really are. Yeah, well, I see who you are, Luke. A failure. When we met, I had hopes for you, but... Oh, you are just a loser. A failure. A small, no, tiny dick, hairy shouldered fucking loser. Mommy's born. Don't you ever call me a mommy's boy? I tried, Luke. I tried to mold you into a proper person, but no! You just wanted to hang out with your stupid mates! In fact, I kind of thought you and Brady might be gay for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Well, I wish I was gay, because then I'd be off, wouldn't I? I'd be around the world sucking men's peen eyes instead of being here listening to bloody you. You know, Jen, you really are a bitch. Fuck off, Brady. I don't want to speak to you. Where are you? I need to see you. Why don't you fuck off back to your tar? Fred, it wasn't like that. I saw you kiss her. It's not like that. We're done talking. Wait! Fred, you annoy me more than anyone else I've ever known. You smell of fish all the time. You bite your nails and spit it on the floor. You never wash the bath out. And you're always late. But you're never late, Mr. Fucking Perfect. You're quick to throw a punch, but you run away from anything that really matters because you're scared. You are scared of what? Of being yourself. But I know you, Fred. I know when you're with the lads and you order a beer, you'd really rather have a Merlot. I know when you say you're going for a slash, you're going to top up your lipstick, and I know you love me. Fuck you. Oh, and by the way, the dress, it didn't work. But not because of the dress, because it's just not you. You're such a twat. You say you know me. I know you too. I know that you're in a dead end job because you are shit scared of failing. You go fucking your way around town, chasing anything with tits and a heartbeat, and you expect me to fall to my knees in thanks when you give me a turn. 
It drives me insane that we live in the same house and you parade that herd of sluts under my nose. You're a selfish bastard. And I cannot wait to get on that boat and sail the fuck away. You know what, Fred? What? You know what? What? You're right. We are done talking. Shark bait. Time, gentlemen, please. Last orders at the bar. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, Ariel, I never really thought that punching someone really actually quite hurt so much. Well, you did very well. His fists look very sore, so in a way, you won the fight. Oh, your breath stinks. Where's Susie? We broke up. Why? She left me for another man. She, she doesn't mess around. No. I wish he was the one. Don't worry, mate. There is someone out there for every one of us, not me. Come on, you lot! I've got a car park to get to! Up we go. Come on. Oh. Home time. Leave it. He's having that anger. What? Come on. Shut up, mate. Room. <laughs> you won't know what's hit you later, darling. Nightcap? Come on, we can do whatever we want. We're free spirits. We could like throw beer mats at dogs or teabag some squirrels. How about just a drink, Angus? Look, you guys go and just do whichever one of those you want. I'm gonna go home and write my book. I'm feeling inspired. Mm. Good, luck, Good night. It's a series of endings and new beginnings. And every once in a while, one pops up when you least expect it. Which it makes it all the more exciting, I guess. As for my friends, they'll wake up tomorrow probably with a hangover. And for a couple of them, things will be different. But hopefully, not too much. <laughs>